Hi everyone, this is Mum Meet Chowdhury from Optimum Thinking. Um, I decided to make this video as we uh, go into 2018 for a couple of reasons. Um, last year I did an exercise where um, I sat down and I very much basically took all areas of my life. Um, in fact, I'll show you what I did. Um, so it says here, gratitudes for 2016. Um, and I basically took all seven areas of um, my life and I put in each area, uh, I put on one piece of paper an area, so family and relationships, um, social, uh, physicality. You can see the areas that I've got lots to write was probably also one of the, a couple of the areas that I had also the most challenges in mainly. Um, so physicality, family relationships, financial, so vocational, there's loads of stuff going on in 2016 and that. So what I did was, um, I did that for all seven areas of my life. And then what I did was, um, by each one that I had like a, a tier of gratitude, um, I literally just put uh, a little star next to it, just to remind me that as I was writing that out, um, you know, I felt a tear of gratitude for what I'd achieved. Um, the reason I did this last year was, uh, you know, we kind of go through life going, oh, I want to get this, I want to get this, I want to get this. But we forget where we've come from. And it's really, really important um, to be grateful for the gifts you've been given um, to in order to get some more. So, you know, that's the exercise I did on like New Year's Eve last year. Um, and I spend my New Year's Eve um, uh, having a connection with my creator, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. So I go to um, like my local temple and I'm there until um, early hours of the morning just being really grateful for what I've experienced in that year. So I did this exercise just before I went and um, the amount of, uh, you know, love and gratitude I had for what the universe had provided me for that year was absolutely immense. I was completely, um, you know just you know in awe of what had happened for me that year so um i really encourage you to take uh, time to do that if you don't do it today new year's eve you guys are going out whatever not a problem you know do it in the next few days so that you can just look back um because everybody talks about setting goals for the next year etc but how about being grateful for what you've actually achieved in every area of your life um you know during 2017 so just for you guys, I will um, write instructions in this video as well, but it'll be all seven areas, you know, spirituality, mental, vocational, health, et cetera, et cetera. So I will, I'll write down in proper in, um, instructions for that. Um, a great time that I thought I would also make this video about um, the Optimum Thinking Inspired Life Journal. Um, now, this isn't actually something that starts in January. It's a 366 days journal that you can start at any time of the year. Um, but I thought I'd make a, a video explaining why this um, was is so important. Um, it's made by um, Helen Kemp of Optimum Thinking and also David Nolan, um, her partner. And um, I can tell you that when I came across this uh, book, it completely changed um, a lot of things in my life, including my sleep. Uh, you know, so the key things in here are basically uh, gratitude, gratitude. Um, and intention and the way that you can also access gratitude by balancing out some challenges that you may have experienced in the day so um this gratitude journal is it I can't even find the words to kind of say it, but it's so important um, because it's like, you know, the universe is giving you gifts. And if you're not grateful for the gifts, you know, is the universe really going to give you any more? So, um, you know, when we take a daily gratitude, so I tried a lot of gratitudes before this. And what I found was, oh, am I meant to be grateful for everything? So this is a really easy journal um, in that uh, every day you've literally got, I am grateful for, you'll have a couple of quotes on it. And you just literally go down what happened to you in the day. Um, there are quite a few Uber drivers that make my uh, gratitude journal. There are, um, when I'm flying, my pilots make my gratitude journal. You know, just being grateful for um, every little thing you can think about that happened that day. And, of course, big things. Um, this middle section is about taking your daily challenge and actually, uh, you know, thinking about, well, how did it serve you? How did um, that challenge that you experienced? And I know sometimes you might look at that and go, that actually didn't serve me at all. Um, but I can tell you when we have the law of duality at play, that's two sides of the magnet. You cannot get one side without the other. So just 
please stick at it look at look at what was the opportunities that arose from that challenge um, you know imagine there were benefits what would they be so just take yourself to actually trust your intuition to bring out the other side of the magnet because it does know that um, and lastly is the um, you know setting intentions for the next day the next day intentions and the reason if you did this at night is what happens is you tell your subconscious what you're looking to get out of the following day and it allows it to process it um, and add additional information and then be ready to actually grasp that the following day. So it's about setting the conscious intention. Now, when you set your intention from a gratitude um, you know, state, it's not going to be from an emotional state that you're setting uh, any kind of intention. So therefore, the universe is pretty much going to look at ways of providing that for you. Um, and, you know, that's just on a daily thing. At the beginning of this journal, you've got a 12 month intention plan. You have a monthly intention plan in all seven areas before you start the month as well. You'll be very surprised when you do some of this and you look back. I know that I did this when I first started. I wrote out a monthly intention plan. I looked at it at the end of the month and go, oh my God, that opportunity occurred because I'd written that down. So, um, you know, when we write an intention down, we very much, we activate something called the reticular activating system in our brain, which then literally goes out to search for the things that we are setting an intention for. It doesn't mean you just think about it, set an intention and do nothing about it. Most people have to get up off their ass and do something about it. So um, <laughs> just to kick home reality there. Um, this gratitude journal is available um, on Amazon for £20. Um, I'm also going to post another link here uh, for book depository where you can get it for, for £20. Um, definitely something to have for the new year or gift it to somebody uh you know it's a really cool gift that um they can start the year with so um yeah those are my couple of um you know exercises and um shares that i liked i i wanted to do for the new year so i hope you guys have a fulfilled 2018 uh looking forward to all the support and challenge that comes with it and just know that when you're on path you will embrace both sides uh you know all the challenges and the supporters uh, just keep, keep focused on it. Um, manage your emotions because until you don't manage your emotions, you can't manage your money, as Warren Buffett said. Um, and the more you manage your emotions, the bigger game you play. So um, and if you need any help and you'd like to know a little bit more about how Optimum Thinking can help you, please reach out um, to, uh, you know, on our page or whatever you like uh, into us uh, individually. We'd be more than happy to help you. Alternatively, go to optimum www.optimumthinking.net um, and register for our newsletters and we'll be letting you know about um, workshops in 2018. Have a great year and um, we look to be a part of your journey in the next year. Thanks. Bye.